So, guys, the Nigerian immigration has started investigating the passport destruction by a woman, you know, that returned from the UK who destroyed her husband's passport at the airport. Guess what? Many Nigerians have argued that they wouldn't have even allowed the woman to go away from the airport, that arrest would have been made immediately, while some people have justified her ground because she has come out to say it's because uh of abuses that she has been going through that she was not in her right mood and all that and also many people are criticizing the nigerian immigration that these are the kind of matter they want to swiftly go into when they know they cannot mand and control our borders that has led to the insecurity we are seeing in nigeria today which is also causing us food uh, shortages because farmers can no longer access their land and all that so we know there's a whole lot to this when it comes to the Nigerian immigration. Also, we know that recently, where while there was protest in the northern part of the country, many chieftains of the APC came out to say those who were raising up the flags weren't Nigerians. They are, they are, that they are mostly from the neighboring countries. That has raised also so much dust, especially when it comes to election, meaning that people who have been even voting during elections aren't Nigerians. So you can imagine the tax before the Nigerian immigration. So back to the topic. This woman returned with her husband from the UK. I also read, read an article that said that the husband reported her to the UK authorities that she's using a fake nursing uh, document that led to her being deported. And on getting to the Nigerian airport, guess what? She tore her husband's passport. And there been a whole lot of reactions. You must have seen all these reactions. So guys, I'm going to let you just listen for yourself what this woman has got to say and why she did what she did. And so many people have condemned her, you know, for doing what she did because that wasn't the right way to resolve the issues that she is having with her husband for her to have turned the Nigerian passport. I don't know what your take is on this matter. Just drop it. But for me, I think people shouldn't be bringing their marital issues to the public. I, I know that marriage is meant for the mature so that even when you have issues, you can sit down one-on-one, -on -one, settle it out. So let me allow you to take a look at this video and let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Take a look. Hello, good morning everyone. God bless you all. I'm the lady that um, had issues with the husband for some time before we came to Nigeria. Though, I have my own page, which is this very one you are watching me on. And um, this issue I've been going on for a very long time. But... I was just like dancing to the tune till I arrived in my motherland, Nigeria, which it just happened, and I had to. Di I did what I did. You understand? So, like Tunde or not, um, gossip mail, Easter blog, all those bloggers carrying this video on social media. You have to ask what happened. Don't just look at the action alone. I am I'm not a mad woman who will just come and act like that. I'm not a mad woman. I have my reasons. I have gone through so many things. So many of you just coming, commenting on the on the video. I'm seeing so many comments. Friends calling me. Those that have never called me for ages are calling me. Those that have heard from me 20 years ago are calling me. So many things. I am not like that. When it goes to someone here, you have to act on it. And so many of you coming to comment, what if I had done this thing I did now in the Europe where we are coming from? Because I, I don't want to like make him go through a lot of stress. That is why I did it in Nigeria. Do you understand? So I don't know what is going on. So many people, I don't care about the, what people are writing because if you don't know what is happening, don't just comment what you don't know. You have to be sure. You have to know what, how to come into an issue. So many people at the airport that day saw me. I was acting. Those who have thinking faculty, 
they 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 were come to ask they were come to ask me wanting to know what happened do you think i will just come up and just tear his passport like that of course no i don't have to do that i have gone through a lot of things family issue here and there every time every time my husband cannot speak it took me a long time because why i don't have he is the one controlling my page for me he is one handling the page for me he's one that has everything so i have to go in total because my email too was attached to it his email was attached to it so i have to go and look for it to get this password because i know even him himself he will see it he did not know that i will go to this extent because i don't care I don't need to have idea. I don't want to know how he's doing about the page. He's the one organizing it. He's the one operating it. But for now, in as much as I have everything of this um, uh, page as a whole now, he himself has it. Let's be doing it together. Because I cannot be suffering. I suffered with this my husband. I suffered. I know how many years I suffered with him. Then just like that, they just want my suffering to be chattered away. Where is it done? Where is it done? I know men will never accept it. But those men who have sisters, who have gone through this, I'm going through now, will understand. But other men will not understand what is happening. You understand? All those men that their sisters, as I'm saying, that their sisters have gone through all these things, they know what I'm talking about. It is only those men who are like, my husband, who will not speak out, just get to not end. Mommy's boy, uh, sister's uh, uh, best brother, brother's best brother. That is what he's doing, making me the wife to be suffering. Is it till when I cry, till when I go? You people will know that this woman did not speak out. I did action. They said action speak louder than voice. I gave my action to him to know that I'll be bearing it. Most of you watching, those people that even saw us at the airport, we were putting on the same shoes, the same sneakers, the same Adidas, the same shirt, everything. I have to follow him with that act. Because I have my own plans. Because you don't know the mind of a woman. That's just the truth. So please, if you don't know what happened, you don't have to do. Because I saw him giving one of his friends that would enter the same flight together to record it. I thought he was going to post it. Please, those of you who are saying eh, she should be arrested, she should be this, she should be that, come and hold me responsible. I don't understand. For what? For what reason? I know the pains I'm passing through. I know what I have seen. Look at my eyes every time. I cry every night and day. I cry every day. After three kids. After three kids, the one man will not want to come and send me back to where I, I, I did not know. What I, what I suffered for, what I saw, I want to reap what I have sold. So let me reap what I have sold with him. That's what I have to say. That is all I have to say. If he knows he has the mind, let him come out and say the truth of what is happening. Let him come and speak out. Please help me and tag today at North. Those gossip meal, those Easter blog, going to that video because they just saw a short video of what happened. They are supposed to ask me. Thank you. I'm sorry. You are sorry. Haven't I warned you that whenever I leave food, you shouldn't touch it? Even when you are hungry, you have to wait for me. Haven't I told you? But I'm sorry. You are sorry. You are sorry. Are you not tired of saying this sorry? See clothes you are supposed to wash this morning. You are just washing it now. Eh? Because I was tired. I you were that. tired. But you were able to eat one full plate of semode. You ate that soup. That have how many meats inside? You ate it. You finished it. Did you finish the soup? Yes. After eating it, you are not tired. No. After eating it, you were tired. After eating it, you were tired. Clothes, I asked you to wash it. Clothes, I asked you to wash it. Is it 
not the clothes I asked you this man to wash me. Chance! Chance! Your jail is closed. Ah, it's closed by the door. You go go jail for this Europe. You go go jail for this Europe. Then you will know I'm in command. Whatever I ask you to do, you will do it! My friend, sit down and wash this clothes off. Hi everyone. So surprising, so shocking. I am coming across a lot of comments, people insulting me, even my fellow gender who don't understand are also insulting me. I'm not supposed to do what I did. Yeah, I know. I know that is where so many people got me. Why would I tell his passport is against Nigerian law? It's against Nigerian rules. I know that. I know. What do I say? To Nigerian immigration, I'm very sorry. But to be sincere, I did it for my husband not to go back. Because I have seen so many things. I've gone through pains. Pains that cost me heart pain today. Pains that gives me headache at the middle of my head. You don't know what I'm passing through. All my genders talking. I pray you will not experience what I've just passed through. After everything, go to my page. Fine. My husband bought me an iPhone just to make me calm and everything. This things has been going on for more, so many years ago. Things have been going on. Yes. He knew that I've not forgotten it. But I was just dancing to him, his tune to make him happy, pretending to him. Out of anger, I told him, I said, I don't think this Nigeria, we are going to you come back. That's why I told him, but he looked at it. That was why he got me a phone as a gift, thinking everything is gone. But I couldn't condone it because it was too much on me. I have pain. I now have as pain because of this. And I have a dick. Cost of a dick because of this. And you all are there insulting me. You are insulting me because you don't know what I am passing through. Because you don't know what I am passing through. If you know. You. You won't write what you are writing. You won't do that. You don't know. Everybody writing. If you don't know, if you have a way for you to invite the immigration police to come back home, they should come. The law should come for me. No problem. No problem. I am ready to face anything. My husband is there because he has access to the page. He's posting to explain, even posting a few full video of it. Ah. I said I was not going to cry. I said I won't cry. I said I will not cry. I won't. It pained me so much. Not for the text. All the messages you are sending to me. But this is something. I just saw a blogger in Italy that was interviewing someone and the person called on the video and was talking and she knows me. Whoever you are, just feel you don't know me. You even said, I, 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 I married before I brought a man. I don't know if you are seen. You are seen in your brain. You don't know what you are saying. So many people who don't even know me. You don't even know me. You talk about me. You talk down on me. You don't know me. Be careful. Be careful. Why? Why should you talk about me? Why on earth should you talk about me? So many women are suffering their marriage today just because they cannot speak out. And I acted my own. I gave my action, my anger towards my husband, which my husband knew 
what I did. He knows that I was in pain. And you all are here writing. You are writing. I have three children for him. Three children. Thank you very much. There's no problem. You can write. If you have the power, you have the strength. Come after me. I will give myself to you. Because I'm also even tired. If you don't know. Do you know what I've suffered? Do you know what I've gone through? What is it? So guys, you have seen it for yourself. How this woman and her husband brought themselves to the public. And I, I don't really know what happened. But according to one article that says that the man reported the wife to the UK authority. You know? And that she is using false certificate. You know this forgery of a thing is a huge problem in Nigeria. I mean, from the top to bottom. It's a huge problem in our society. The big people are, are, are you know, they are into all this forgery. And the small people are equally emulating. And that's why we keep saying that a leader should be above board. At least we should boldly come out to talk to the people because we've got no skeleton to hide. Now, so many Nigerians are resorting to forgery, even in a white man country. Crime, you know, can even lead you to jail. You are daring it in a strange, a, a strange land. This is one of the things I would never encourage anybody to do. No matter the hard times you are into, you dare not forge. You dare not. Manage yourself the way you can, you know, manage yourself. Don't force yourself into things you know you are not prepared for. If you know you've not gone to a, 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 a school, you don't have a certificate, why go to Forge One so that you'll be able to get job opportunities? Today that there are jobs everywhere. If you can't find jobs, there are online opportunities that you can hop on and make a good living out of it instead of you going to Forge. You might Forge in this country and be free. You might go to another country, forge it, and you'll be thrown into jail all your life. Because I believe that there are countries that don't tolerate anything that has to do with forgery. Not to talk of when you are a parent. What are you teaching your children? What are you telling the younger generation? What are you showing as an example? So that's to tell you the kind of society we've built in Nigeria. People still take these corrupt practices out of the country. Going to countries like the UK to go and tell them that, Nigerians are forgers because that's what it implies. We've seen these cases of people being deported because of forged certificate. Then you get to know that the thing is like the thing is rampant everywhere. Please, Nigerians, if you've not gone to school to acquire a certificate, don't look for a short way to get one. Just try to work out, bring out time, go and study, learn and get that certificate so that you can boldly present it anywhere, anytime. Instead of going to forge, what benefit is it will kill your reputation? It will even like, you know, tell your children that you've worth nothing. It's really bad at all fronts. It's not something anybody should encourage. But that's what we see many Nigerians, especially in the UK. We don't even know who and who is helping them to get this kind of document. So guys, that is it. But from the look of things, you can see that the man is going through a lot in this marriage. I mean, for me, that's my own, you know, postulation. That's my own deduction. I think this man is really going through a lot. For the woman to have done what she did to a man, and this man was very calm, I think the man has tolerated so much. And that's why we keep saying that marriage is meant for the mature. You must have that maturity because situations will definitely arise. But your ability to arrest that situation manage it properly and still have your marriage working even working sweeter than it was that is what makes people fit for marriage so guys let me know what you think about this in the comment section below please don't forget to subscribe to the channel turn on the notification bell thank you